Hi, hello, welcome. My name is Eden and it is day three of the Reading Rush. We're almost halfway there. Today I thought that I would do part of the reading vlog challenge, which is to tell one of your favorite bookish stories. So I suppose there are a lot of stories to choose from. I've already told a couple in past Reading Rush challenges. Today I thought I'd share a special reading story about some children that I used to babysit. So we all remember the Scholastic Book Fairs. They were all the rage back in elementary school kind of in middle school too. My parents didn't usually buy me books, we utilized the library a lot, but when the Scholastic Book Fair came in fourth grade, my mom bought me some books and it was very exciting. And one of these books, I think it was thrown in just as an extra. I'm not really sure why we chose this book, but it was part of the Scholastic Book Fair and that is The Incredible Shrinking Teacher by Lisa Passan. And it's just a fun story about a teacher who makes muffins and becomes a tiny little thing and she's wandering on the school and the hamster is a giant monster. And I babysat a lot when I was younger. I went to, I went to this babysitting training community ed class and one of the tips that they gave was to bring a book and read a bedtime story to the kids. And so I packed this on one of my first times babysitting for this new family and we read The Incredible Shrinking Teacher. Every single time that I babysit, since that first time I read this book, they would ask, did you bring the book? Did you bring the book? And sometimes my older sister and I would swap who was babysitting if I wasn't free or if she wasn't free. And they'd ask her, did you bring the book? And she never knew what they were talking about. But it was The Incredible Shrinking Teacher. You know, it's just a funny little book that that the kids got a nice laugh from. There's that hamster I was telling you about. <laughs> oh, Miss Birnbaum. <laughs> I don't even know if that's how you said it, but that's how I would say it every time. It's a classic, but I don't really think anyone else in the world has read it. Let me know if you have. So it's just a fun little story that stuck with me, and I want to bring that to when I have a family someday, you know, reading before bed, just sharing the love of storytelling with the youngins because it will stick with them for a lifetime. What were your favorite children's books growing up? Did you read before bed? Let me know in the comments. Follow me on Instagram, at of Eden Books, to see some more of the challenges I'm participating on Instagram this week. And I hope that you had a wonderful day three of the reading rush. Until next time. Miranda? <laughs> <laughs> Why does this keep happening?